Do you want to learn how to make a beautiful glim full centerpiece using Dollar Tree items? Keep watching. Hello everyone, I'm Ramon. Welcome back to Ramon at Home. If you're new in this channel, let me give you a warm welcome and let you know that I'm an interior designer, decorator, and DIYer who wants to help you make your home your favorite place on earth. So please consider subscribing. And if you've been following for a while, well, I'm so excited to show you guys how to make this beautiful fall wreath with a beautiful glam look with Dollar Tree items. Now this wreath is to match the last centerpiece that we made here on the channel, you guys. If you haven't seen that centerpiece, I'm gonna link it up right now so you can check it out after you watch this video. It is a matching centerpiece and it's done with the same materials. It's turned out absolutely gorgeous. Now, to show you guys how to make this wreath, let's go to the studio. All right, you guys, so for this wreath to match our centerpiece, what we're gonna use is an 18 inch grapevine wreath form, as well as one piece of leftover garland. We're gonna use our scissors, our cutters, we're also going to use our glue gun and our glue pen. We're going to need a zip tie and a pipe cleaner. Now, keep in mind these pipe cleaners are from Christmas, but I always like to recycle my pipe cleaners. And you can find them at the DT store for a dollar for a whole bunch. So I really recommend to stock up. We're going to use some gold ribbon as well as burlap ribbon. We're going to need some green pumpkins. Like this one right here. These ones were from uh, Hobby Lobby and they are 40% off right now. We're also going to need a bushel of this grass from Walmart. These guys are only a dollar at Walmart, so I really recommend also to stock up on that. We're also going to need one bushel of hydrangea from the DT store, as well as one bushel of these beautiful, beautiful chrysanthemums that is going to be part of our focal point. And of course, we would not be making this centerpiece without our bittersweet that we all love so much. Also, if you are looking for that bittersweet and you find it, I really recommend you stock up because it is only a dollar and you guys can always use it on other projects. And last but not least, we're gonna use one bushel of this beautiful sunflower. All right, so let's get started. The very first thing we need to do is we need to decide how we're going to do our wreath. And this time I want the focal point to be on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and do a three point tie. And as I explained to you guys before, I like to use these Christmas garlands because it really gives us some uh, real uh, space to work and to glue into. And this is a trick that I learned as I worked in the floral industry. So what you do is you just literally grab those bristles and you attach from the back. Sometimes you have to go through the grapevine, like right here, through, you pull through, you pull, and then you tie, and that will hold your garland. So I'm gonna do one there on the side. I'm gonna do one more up here on the top. You literally just tie around. Then I'm gonna do one right here on the side. And once you, once you have this step, I really recommend you take a minute to fluff out your garland because we want to see some of it um, if you guys been following the channel, then you know that I absolutely love Christmas uh, greenery with full foliage because it really reminds me of the state where I used to live during the fall season. All right, so this guy is attached. I'm going to put it to the side for now because I want to go ahead and make the bow. And so many of you have been asking about how I make the little flyaways. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a trick that I learned. For that, you're gonna need some of these uh, steaks that you can find at your local thrift, I'm sorry, at your local uh, hobby store, not a thrift store, even though I have seen them before at a thrift store, but if you really wanna find them, then you wanna go ahead and look for them at your local hobby store. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a small bow. I don't want nothing too big, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give him a few tails about this length, and I wanna say it's about a foot length and then I'm gonna layer another one on the top. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pinch right here. And I just want something very simple. I don't want anything too fancy. I don't want to take away from the flowers. Then you're gonna pinch right here. And you're gonna twist. And now we want that burlap to be on the top. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pinch again. And then we're gonna repeat one more time. Spin. 
like so and then you do it one more time but now I would make sure that that gold is showing like this all right so we have a four loop bow this pinch right here I'm gonna go ahead and cut this guy so it is easier to tie I'm gonna give it a longer tail like so then here's a trick what you want to do is you want to grab your pipe cleaner put it right here and then with your zip tie what you want to do is go through all of this and then you're going to pull the zip tie through and just pull as tight as you can and then you will cut the excess of that zip tie and that way we have somewhere to attach to and it was just so much easier so now I'm going to put this bow to the side and I'm going to show you how to make those little flyaways with ribbon. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and cut a piece of ribbon, fold it in half. Then you're going to gather right here. Then you're going to use one of these little stakes that come with a wire and you're going to put that wire and you're going to wire around like so. It's so simple. And you just split these guys like so. So I'm going to do just one more right here for you. All right. First of all, make sure you finish your ribbon. And then we're going to gather right here. And we're going to grab our little stake. And with that little wire that comes with, like I said, you find these stakes at any hobby store in the floral department. And like so. All right, so I'm going to put those to the side. A lot of people ask how that was done, so that's how we do that. All right, so now we're going to bring our wreath back into the light, and we're going to give it a new life. The very first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and cover some of this with full foliage. So I'm just going to dip this into my glue pan, and I'm going to go ahead and add some of this foliage just to make it look a little bit more fall versus Christmas. And that is a trick when it comes down to these wreaths. You wanna go ahead and give it a little bit of fall foliage to cover some of the garland. And that will do the trick to transform it from Christmas into fall. And I wanna stop right here. So now this next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna add my bow. And so many of you guys like the centerpiece with the gold and the burlap. And I just thought it turned out amazing. If you guys haven't seen that centerpiece, and if you're watching these reads, I really recommend you go out back and watch it. I also love, I've never done neutral colors for fall, but I am in love with the end result. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this in the back, like so. And then after that, it's going to give your bow a little fluff. Like I said, I didn't want anything big. Something small will do so the flowers really show. And then we want to also finish... Uh, the tails, but we're going to do that at the end. So, all right. So now that we have our focal point, just that, look how pretty that is, you guys, just that. And then what, the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of these chrysanthemums and I'm going to add them right here close to the bow. And remember that I like to work in sets of twos, threes. So we're going to add two right here. And then I'm going to move to the next side and I'm going to add one. And the reason why I like to add two together is because it makes a bigger impact and it shows the flower better. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one right here on the top. That way it's balanced like so. So it's all the way around. Let me put this guy down so you guys can see. Then I have one left. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it all the way down here. All right. All right. So then I'm going to move on to the next side. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and balance it with one of these sunflowers. So I'm going to go ahead and insert this sunflower right here. And it's very important that you guys give these flowers a little bend so that way it's not flat on the wreath. And that's what gives it a bit of, of life and air. So I'm going to add two there. So I'm going to move on to the next side. And I'm just going to add one. And I always like to insert up so that stem really goes in to the wreath form. I'm going to add one more right here with it. Then I'm going to add one here, a sunflower to make this set of two, three. So I'm gonna pull this bow a little bit. And like I said, you really want it to go on that form so it stays. And always, always remember to just do one flower at a time. That way you can balance your wreath. 
Don't go cuckoo crazy trying to add flowers here and there of each or different um, styles because that's when you lose the balance on your grief. So I went outside of the rim. I want to bring one more outside on the other side and that's just to give the wrist, the wrist some girth right over here. So that makes it a little thicker. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in with this beautiful full hydrangea from the DT store. And at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and add this hydrangea towards the out, outer rim of the wreath, like I said, to give it some girth and to make it look thicker than it actually is. Then I'm going to add one up here on the top. How gorgeous is this, you guys? All right, so we're done with the flowers. That's what we're going to do for flowers. Then the next step is going to be to add some of the um, Walmart grass. I'm sorry, we'll add this one, it's shorter. And this guy is so pretty, you guys, and it's only a dollar. And look what this does. We're gonna call this a flyaway. We're gonna use it as a flyaway. And what I mean by flyaway is like something that really pulls away and it gives it a third dimensional feel to your wreath, all right? So that's what I call it flyaways. I actually came up with that term. I don't know if it really is a term that we use in the industry, but I like how much air this little trick gives to our wreaths. So I'm making sure that I glue every piece of this because this wreath will go to my mom's house and I don't want it to fall apart on her. I think it'll look gorgeous on her door. And I'm gonna go ahead and add one more here. Now you wanna make sure that when you're doing your flyaways, they're all going outside and inside of your arrangement. That is what will give it that three-dimensional feel to it. So go in and out, up and down, like this. And I'm gonna add one to the other side. And also, I'm never gonna get tired of telling you guys, what you do on one side, you wanna move on to the next and repeat it. Because that's what's gonna give this wreath so much life. And this is turning out so pretty, you guys. Just like the centerpiece, I promise. All right, so I'm gonna put one up here and then I'm gonna go ahead and do one on the other side. Like so. So beautiful, we're gonna stop right there. Then our next step will be to add some of the big magnolia leaves that we spray painted. When I spray painted them for our centerpiece, I just went ahead and spray painted some for our wreath because I knew I was gonna be making this. So what I'm gonna do literally, I just dipped it in glue. Then I'm gonna go ahead and glue into that Christmas garland. And that is why it's so important to have that garland because that way it'll hang on to, grab on to. All you have to do is like stick it like that. And that garland is gonna make sure that it just stays in place. I'm gonna add a few of these magnolia leaves and this is what's giving, oh my gosh, it looking so luxurious, like so. And all you have to do is go outside and with a little bit of inexpensive gold spray, give it a little spray to your pumpkins, to your leaves, and just change the look. And I cannot wait for the holiday season so I can show you guys some tricks with um, spray paint that I learned and I haven't done, so I'm really excited. Thumbs up if you guys are excited for the holiday season here at Ramona Home. All right, so this is looking so gorgeous, but I think what's really going to take it over the top is going to be our flyaway of bittersweet. And this is one of my favorite things. I cannot get tired of telling you guys, if you see it on your store, grab it, because there's not very much of it to go around. Um, I've noticed that not all the stores have it. Probably because it's early in the season too, but it's such a popular item that it goes so fast. So if you have it on your local store, go ahead and hang on to it. So that what it's doing is giving our wreath a little bit more air. And once again, you wanna go up and down, in and out with this bittersweet. That way it gives it so much life. So I'm gonna go ahead here. And you can just glue into the Christmas garland and it'll hang on. Once this glue dries, you guys, this um, pellet glue, it really becomes so solid and it's so hard to pull apart. But you have to make sure that you really dip that stem. And like I said, this is for my mama. Mom, if you're watching, this is your fall wreath and I cannot wait to hang it in your door. 
so stay tuned for that. My mom has been generous enough to, uh, since last year actually, I think I told you guys that I'm going to go decorate her house for the holidays. So you guys will get to see where I grew up. All the credit for Christmas and I'm so excited because she has this most beautiful staircase that I cannot wait to get my hands on. So thumbs up for my mom, you guys, for letting us come to decorate her home, my childhood home. All right, I'm going to add just one more right here. Perfect. So that is so pretty. Actually, it needs one on the top. This is so beautiful, you guys, and it's so inexpensive. This wreath would retail for about $75 to $100, and I paid no more than $15 for all of the flowers and all of the bittersweet and flyaways. So let's just make sure that we do dovetail all of our ribbons like so because they look more beautiful finished than flat you, ha you have no idea how many people don't do this step and the wreaths just don't look finished so we're gonna go ahead and give this a little cut right here and right here now the only other thing i do want to go ahead and add is one of these gilded pumpkins that we did last time so i'm gonna go ahead and dip this pick into our glue and I just want to add one so it ties together with our centerpiece. We're going to add it right here and it gives it that full look. And I absolutely love the way this is turning out. So beautiful with the ribbons, the gold. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. All right, you guys. So then what we want to do is go ahead and insert these little guys right here and just like how we did with the pumpkin and what this will do is will give us extra tails up on the top so what we're going to do is i want to go ahead and just insert that into my glue or dip it into the glue and i'm just going to go ahead and add this into the garland right here and look what this does it just gives it a few more tails and i have one more that i want to add up here so just make sure that i dip that into my glue so it stays and once again just put it into the garland and that will finish the look I absolutely love this wreath. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. As you guys can see, making this beautiful fall wreath is just absolutely easy and so affordable. You can follow the steps in this video to create one for yourself. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this color palette versus the more traditional with the oranges and browns. I think it turned out amazing. If you guys like this wreath, please give the video the thumbs up and share with a friend. Let them know that fall has just started here at Ramona Home. If you have not seen the centerpiece to match this wreath, I'm going to link it up or you can watch more videos right now. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye.